Well, as the state continues to reopen establishments and eventually start up programs and activities for the summer, many parents are now faced with the decision of whether to allow their kids to participate or keep them at home or, as Will Uick reports, somewhere in between. I think that every family is going to have to make that choice for themselves. For Marcy MacArthur, the mother of three kids ranging from 4 to 14 years old, the decision to allow them to take part in their usual activities isn't a clear one. The unknown is, is what I think about. There has to be those precautionary steps to be taken so that parents feel comfortable enough that the kiddos are safe. With three kids, all different ages, with different potential activities this summer, Marcy says if she has to allow one to participate and keep another home because of comfort, that's what she'll do and just be honest with them. I think that once I break it down um, in the steps in the reasoning why and behind it, they would be very sad and upset, but I think that they would definitely understand where we're coming from. Dr. Amy Edwards, a pediatric infectious disease doctor with University Hospitals, agrees. The answer is going to vary by family, by activity, um, and by how well prepared said organization is for this opening. It's all dependent upon individual situations. So when it comes to things like pools, I'm actually pretty okay with that. Um, this virus is a respiratory virus. It is not going to stand up to the chlorine. For the rest, as far as like sports and summer camps, it, you're going to have to call and really talk to them about the safety measures that they're putting in place. So when it comes to allowing your children to partake in typical summer activities that are now open, proceed, but with caution. This opening up is not a sign that this is over. This is so far from over. I think people need to be smart and use common sense. Will Uick. Keep up the vigilance. We're not out of the woods yet. Three news.